Hi folks, Bob Dale for Southern Reed Marketing in Jackson, Mississippi, where we sell lots of diesel trucks, folks, over the past two or three years. Gosh knows me how many we sold. I guess four years. It's in the hundreds, probably close to 2,000. Every once in a while, we just have a really special truck. I mean, I'm talking about one that just jumps out, and here it is, and boy, that's what we're going to list today. This is a wonderful truck perfect in about every way a 2008 ford f-250 look at it sitting here you can't find a better looking truck than this folks only got 141,000 miles on it only 141,000 miles it has been tuned and deleted runs and drives like a brand new one dan's gonna do your test drive the four wheel drive, everything on is perfect. It's got so many options. I don't know what someone spent. In any figure I, you know, but someone spent six, seven, eight thousand dollars on this just to make it look good. It's, if you see here in the front, it's got a ranch hand type bumper, but it's more heavy duty than a ranch hand bumper. Gosh knows what that costs. It's got the aluminum, uh, the billet aluminum inserts in the, in the, in the uh, grill here. It has got 20 inch, it's got 35 inch tires, 20 inch custom rims, and I, I, I would, I'd be embarrassed to guess what those things cost. You see the, the, the cab lights up there? They, I mean, they have done everything to this truck, and generally when somebody spends this much money on a truck, it looks gaudy. It kind of looks, oh man, but this truck looks good. 35 inch tires, a good set of tires, spare under, makes it stand up and look good. It's a it's a 2008 Ford, all the XLT equipment. Come on, we'll show it to you up close. No paint work, no tricks, no trouble. No, the, the, the windshield is perfect. The paint is good, feels good. You look down the side, it's not pecked up and tricked up or any of that. Uh, you see the mirrors here, what is that son of? That's the uh, smoke turn signals that somebody spent some money for nerf bars come and look on the inside this is one beautiful truck here folks and it's equipped just the way i would want it for everybody that keeps asking me about rockers and cab corners you can see of course zero zero rust he hates to do that and i'm always doing it but I, I, I think people appreciate it for example I always show up in here. It's not been a work truck. It's not been a farm truck. It's not been on a job site. You cannot clean that up. If you hunt, if you fish, whatever you want to do, folks, this truck is ideal for it. Just a daily driver, it's ideal. <coughs> and of course, if you want to put it on a work site, by George, it will do it. But this truck is stone slap down beautiful. And it's the not stripped down. The headliner is perfect. Uh, it doesn't have any odors in it. It's a non-smoker's truck. It's only got 141,000 miles. I told you, tuned and deleted. Got the upfitter switches, tow command, heated mirrors, CD player. This truck is built and set up for an outdoorsman. And look back here. Just the way you'd want it. You can buy this truck, folks, and have it smelling like mine. Smell like dogs and cigars and cigarettes and whiskey and uh, we can't you can. It, it doesn't that. smell like that no, now. I said it could. Your you truck can does. Make it like that. I mean, gosh, that's what a great truck. Look so at this. Gets Got the fender flares. Someone has put these fender flares on. Those are expensive. Look at these wheels. XD wheels Those are good looking wheels. Got the step man calls the old man step. You can see the bed is not beat up. And that is a real B&W turnover ball. It's the expensive one. You can flip it over, have a flat bed if you, you want. You may or may not use it. You may or may not want it. But I promise you at some point in the time period that you're going to own this truck, you're going to be real glad you got it. And you won't have to pay for it. It's already there. Because as Dan said, they are real expensive. Now, uh, uh, Gee, many goodness, I don't remember how long, many years ago, 30 years ago, I had to pull a horse trailer. So I said, I'll just run down and put a turnover ball in the truck. I think it was about 800 then, about 30 years ago. So look down the side. They Absolutely. have turnover balls back then? They did, they did. Back in the old days? Back in the old days, stagecoach days. A local truck, no rust issues. Can you see the muffling down here, Sunners? Greg says the muffin. Look, no rust issues, not a speck anywhere. This is an exceptional truck. 
a really exceptional truck. Now, I can't imagine that everyone who looks at this will, will try to buy it because it's big for uh, Look at it. What more? It's just the way I like a truck. I here's look look in here. You see no dust, no dirt, none of that. You see there's no once again. Never been on a work site. Well, you can look in these door panels. You can tell if you've got a work truck because they get stained and funky, and it will not come out. And you can tell if they're not real nice because our boys have done the cleanup on it. Folks. Yeah, and they. <laughs> and trust me, our boys. Our boys make mockery of cleanup, and we got the best we have. See that? They did, they did the job. These tires are really nice, 35 inch tires. There is one little pick right here. I'll show you. That just a little fleck in the windshield. I got to pick it for something. Even the grill is not peeling, which they're bad about doing, but Real this one's perfect. not doing it. I want you to look, buddy. Now this is overkill right here. Now in Mississippi we have to have grills and bumpers because we got more deer and we got people. Dan's my daughter-in-law hit a deer last year. My wife hit one, about 20,000 total. That's a little bit overkill. That bumper would push a bulldozer. Anyway, it's a grand truck, folks. It truly is. My name's Bob Dale. My phone number is 601-218-1223. 601-218-1223, call me anytime. If I don't answer my phone, I'll call you back. Should you have a question about it, give me a call. Uh, should you want to know what we'll sell it for, we'll work with you on that. We're real, real easy to deal with. People all the time call me and go, what's wrong with that truck or that motorhome? They're not supposed to be that cheap. Well, we sell only on eBay. We're not open to the public. We don't have salespeople. We don't have all that. And we hold, we hold our prices down. We know that our customers come from a long way off. We know that. And so we try to sell a really good, solid, dependable truck. Knock on wood, we haven't had any problems with people getting home yet. But this is a great truck, a pretty truck, a stand-up truck. And if I was going to go tomorrow, folks, and pay $75,000 or $70,000 for one, I would order it just like this truck. I'm telling you, it's beautiful. It's a 2008 Ford. It's only got 141,000 miles on it, four-wheel drive. The engine has been tuned and deleted, setting on a great set of tires, 35-inch tires, expensive wheels. We've shown it to you cosmetically, fully equipped, got everything you'd want. No paintwork, doesn't need any. No chips, dings, and pecks to repair. I promise you, wherever you are in the country, you can get in and drive it home and you'll smile all the way because regardless of what this video looks like, this truck looks better in person. It's just that kind of truck. It's got an appearance about it that's just outstanding. A great, great Ford diesel truck that's been tuned and deleted. If you've been looking for one like this, folks, you better look at this one closely and try to buy it because you can't find another one. We appreciate you watching our video. Thank you so much. It's Christmas time, so there are many thousands and thousands of customers all around the world. Merry Christmas to you, and we look forward to seeing you here in Jackson, Mississippi. Hi folks, Dan Dale here. You've been listening to my dad talk about this truck. Now I'm gonna take you on a test drive. Before I do, just wanna show you under the hood, because we do not clean under hoods. This truck was just this nice when it came in. You may see a few little dots from uh, the buffing compound. We've buffed it and waxed it and washed it and everything before we took these pictures but under the hood we don't touch uh, but you can see it's got a high flow intake you can see also that these core support bolts have had an impact on them what that means is the radiators had the recall done to it so that's 1500 you don't have to worry about spinning but the main thing i want to show you is you can see of course absolutely no blow by and I'll be honest, this is the first 6.4 we've ever had, even ones with less mileage that didn't have smoke. Which smoke's no big deal. This one doesn't even have any smoke. The main thing though is you can see I set it down on the filler cap and it doesn't blow off. If your filler cap blows off, that's what blow by is. And that means you've got worn out piston rings, letting engine compression get into the crankcase and it means you got a wore out engine but 
not the case with this truck and we'll hop in and take it for a drive okay now we're in the truck fixing to leave now just so you know even though the video may look a little shaky that's only because i'm driving with one hand and filming with the other on some of the worst roads in the city of jackson but rest assured the truck itself has a great ride and drive it doesn't bounce you around it's not rough or anything and the other thing you can take away from that is that you hear me hitting all these bumps this truck has no squeaks or rattles the the engine's tight it's got a uh you probably can't read the oil change sticker but it's got a fresh oil change so it's good to go on the oil change you can see you got your cd player heated mirrors tow command upfitter switches got a nice tint on the windows it's, it's a legal tint job it's not too dark the only nitpick that i found on this entire truck is if you look in the bottom right corner there's a couple you probably can't see them but there's a couple little uh rock picks that i'm not gonna worry about i mean if it's an issue for 120 bucks we can get a new windshield put in it but most people aren't gonna worry about that and i'm just gonna knock the price down a little bit but uh, one thing you can tell from this video is this engine's quiet it doesn't have any exhaust leaks doesn't make any weird noises you can look at the temperature gauge there and see the engine's cold and you know whether you buy from us or whomever you always want to hear a Ford engine diesel engine run cold because if it's got injector problems that's when they're gonna happen and you know it may run perfect hot and then run like a three-legged dog when it's cold but other thing I wanted to show is you can see absolutely no warning lights lit you know it's easy to pop a warning light off when you're uh, just sitting there but if you got an issue it's gonna come back on as soon as you start driving so we try and show you even while we're driving that no warning lights are on I just turned the cruise on you see the little green light came on we got the cruise on and I will turn it off this truck has the you know power windows power locks power mirrors tilt cruise it's pretty much an XLT. I mean, it's got all the stuff you want. Uh, these are extendable tow mirrors, so you can pull them out if you're pulling a trailer and get that extra coverage. And like Dad said, it has been deleted. What that means is the DPF has been removed. So the benefit of that is you get way better mileage, way more horsepower, and more engine longevity because the dpf unlike newer trucks that have that urea injection to clean the deep the soot filter which that's another name for the dpf soot filter but these 6.4 engines ford's uh, way of cleaning them is to dump extra fuel into the rear cylinders which if you're on top of your oil changes is fine uh, it kills the fuel economy obviously but uh, the other thing it does is if you don't stay on top of your oil changes eventually you'll thin out your oil in the crankcase and you'll have all kinds of valve train problems so you get rid of that DPF though you're not dumping extra fuel into the cylinders and when we got it it was already deleted but whoever had it they kept their tuner so I put a new H&S tune in it. Now right now, I've got it set to uh, the street horsepower, which is 125 extra horsepower on top of the 350 it already has, so that's 475. Uh, you can go, you can leave it stock if you want, stock horsepower with the, you know, just the delete tuning. You can go 50 horsepower, uh, 125, stock 0125 and uh 250 i think it's 250 or 300 is the is the maximum that's on top of what's already in it and that's my old truck that's what i had they call it the hot tune it's like 650 horsepower total it's just it's crazy but the good thing about these six fours is they can take the extra horsepower if you want to run a big tune on a 6.0 you got to put head studs in it but you don't on these six fours 
Uh, you don't have to worry about the EGR cooler on these 6.4s. It's a whole different design that doesn't act up like the 6.0s did. Uh, but you can see we're doing 70 down the interstate. It doesn't pull. It doesn't vibrate or pull when you hit the brakes. None of that. Uh, all that's issue free. If you want to fly and drive this truck home, you can. I would not hesitate to get in this truck and drive it anywhere. I mean, it's just that nice of a truck. We'll be glad to pick you up at the airport, bring you back here, do your paperwork, and let you get on the road. But, you know, it's it's Christmas, so not everybody has the time to do that. So, uh, if, if you pay us, then and go ahead and get insurance coverage. We can store the truck for you at no charge until you get time to come get it. Or we'll help you work with the, uh, finding a shipping company or, you know, whoever you want to pick. And don't be scared off if you go online and, and get some quotes for shipping and the first quotes you get on these uh, online shipping calculators, don't let them scare you because you can get a lot better deal. That's just kind of a, a rough estimate. If you're not in a hurry and you don't mind waiting anywhere, it may be a couple days up to a couple weeks, but if you don't mind waiting to catch somebody with an empty spot on their trailer, that's headed in your direction then you can get a lot better deal as a lot of times as much as half off what the shipping calculator says you just got to be willing to wait and catch somebody but you can get on uship which is an ebay company and they'll let you post your own price and they'll give you a range of suggestions we'll just pick the cheapest suggestion and you know somebody will either hit it or they'll start you'll start getting the offers and you can get one that you can live with and get it done. Uh, that's what I do whenever I have to ship something. So, you know, we it, it's, it's not as complicated as you might think, so don't let that scare you off and we'll be glad to go over it more with you if you have any questions about how that works or anything like that. Uh, one good thing about this tune I had mentioned is you can roll some coal. I don't know if you're looking in that mirror, but I've got the, the roll coal setting on medium right now. So if you hit it just right, you can see you put out some pretty good smoke, but you can just use normal acceleration and it will not smoke at all. Or there's a setting in the tuner I can turn it to where it never makes smoke no matter what you do. I like being able to make make the smoke just in case somebody, you know, somebody's riding your bumper, you uh, throw a little smoke on them, they'll get off your bumper. But, not, you know, not everybody likes that, so um, I can turn it off. You know, we have the tuner. It's not included. It's available for extra money. You'll have to call me so I can go over that with you if you want the tuner. But you don't have to have it because it's, it's an extra 1500 bucks, and not everybody wants to spend that. So um, the, the thing is, when you pick this up or before it ship, you can tell me, you know, put it here or turn the smoke up or turn the smoke down and before it leaves I'll set it up for you so because um, I just use the same tuner to we delete just about every truck we get and then we'll tune it and then uh, spend a little money and get it unlocked and use it on something else every now and then somebody buys the tuner and we have to go buy another tuner and they're just the EPA is shut down the company H&S that makes these tuners so they're hard to get and well not hard but they're expensive because there's not a whole bunch of them floating around everybody wants them but you don't have to have it unless you just you know want the little engine monitor features which is, is not a big deal I mean I've I pulled a 38 foot scarab back from Miami with the tuner on hot 600 and something horsepower and exhaust temps never got too hot coolant temps everything stayed good I mean these these six fours I like these engines better than the six sevens like the in my new truck has my 13 has a six seven and I wish it had a six four I just uh, I just think they're the best engine <coughs> that fours come out with 
but like all these newer Ford engines, you've got to keep them serviced. Even if the DPF's deleted, you've got to service them every 5,000 miles, do the oil. Every other oil change, you've got to change the filters. And you've got to use Ford filters. If you do that, these trucks will last forever. They'll, they'll literally, they'll run forever. But if you don't do that, or you use some cheapo AutoZone special crappy filters, or even if you buy high-end, you know, nice Wix filters, if you don't use Ford filters, you're, you're gonna have problems so just do that and you won't have problems but like I said this is a super clean truck somebody obviously spent a lot of money to to get it looking good looking right the uh, got the you know the options you want none of the crap you don't need that just adds to the price doesn't have many miles you know 140 for us is nothing that's more like 40 um, and if we told you this truck had 40,000 miles, honestly, you'd believe us. I mean, it's just that nice of a truck. So, anyway, that being said, if you have any questions about this truck, I uh, want to ask about the tuner, tuning, how all that works, or um, anything like that, give me a call. I'll be glad to answer any questions you might have. My number is 601-376-9869. Or if you uh, want to talk price, want to... Uh, discuss that with us or want to talk to dad you can call him 601-218-1223 uh, regardless we appreciate you watching our video and hearing everything we've had to say about this truck and we look forward to seeing you here in jackson mississippi